Now, your first alert weather. It's going to be hot these next couple of days, so I just wanted to review the signs for heat exhaustion and heat stroke. So I'll leave that graphic up for a second. If you're dealing with heat exhaustion, be sure to get to a cool place and try to cool down as quickly as possible. And if you're dealing with heat stroke, that's a critical situation. You'll want to call 911 for those situations. So as goes the next couple of days, just be sure to practice heat safety and be careful out there. If you're working outdoors, be sure to take frequent breaks and drink plenty of fluids. Otherwise, just be sure to take it easy, especially on Wednesday and Thursday where we're going to see highs in the 100s. And looking at the next couple of days, uh, we're going to be at 98 today for our high in Grand Junction, 101 on Wednesday and Thursday. But then we do begin to see a cool down on Friday and Saturday into the mid 90s with some chances of rain as well. And looking at the next five days, Wednesday showing some around there, but I, I don't buy it. I think it's going to be primarily in the, uh, at the Continental Divide, not necessarily for our area. But Thursday, Friday, and Saturday is when I believe we'll introduce some rain to the forecast. Thursday is going to be a lot uh, more sky and isolated, I believe. It's going to be primarily in the higher elevations, but we could see a shower two move into the valley. Uh, but Friday, Friday looks to be, I believe, the best day for rain across most of the western slope. 40% uh, chances in the uh, higher elevations and as farther south you go, but in the Grand Junction area, I'm giving us about a 30% chance. And then for Saturday, those chances, will, it's not going to be as widespread, but we do still have those chances, giving us 30% chance across the area. And then on Sunday, we'll begin to dry out, and the beginning of the following week looks to be pretty, uh, pretty good, but it'll probably be hot as well. Look at your highs for today. You'll be at 98 in Grand Junction, 97 in Delta, 92 in Montrose, 93 in Cortez, and 99 in Moab. So most areas today will be in the mid to upper 90s. Um, and then, of course, that will increase as we go into the next couple of days. The Jackalopes are home tonight, hosting the Rocky Mountain Vibes. First pitch is at 6.35 p.m. And temperatures for that game, they'll be starting off at about 98 degrees. So it's going to be a hot one under mostly sunny skies and winds of 5 to 10 miles per hour. Uh, and the temperatures are only going to cool only slightly, though, to the mid-90s. So, unfortunately, it's going to be a hot one, but these winds of 5 to 10 miles per hour, especially with this 10-mile-per-hour winds, could maybe provide some slight relief with a quick little breeze here and there. Otherwise, this is going to be a hot one, um, so be sure to uh, drink fluids, and uh, if you can, maybe find some shade now and then at the game. Um, but otherwise, if you're going tonight, be sure to enjoy it. Looking at your seven-day forecast, we'll be at 98 today for our high, warming up into the 100s on Wednesday and Thursday, and then cooling down into the mid-90s on Friday and Saturday with those rain chances. In Montrose, you're looking at a similar story. You'll be in the mid-90s on Wednesday and Thursday for dropping down to the low 90s with those scattered showers and thunderstorms. Delta, you'll be in the 100s on Wednesday and Thursday before dropping to the mid-90s with those chances for scattered showers and thunderstorms. And in Cortez, you'll be in the mid-90s Wednesday and Thursday, dropping to 92 on Friday and Saturday, and also with those chances for scattered showers and thunderstorms.